Welcome to a video from the digitalize.com New Windows 10 build to look at This is a bit of a jumping build number This is 20150 for Windows Insiders On the fast ring or the dev channels it's soon to become If you're wondering what the name changes in these rings and dev channels and all that means I've got to explain a video up on our YouTube channel So you might notice this build number jumps up quite high from 19640 that we were in previously And we've gone right the way up to 20 uh, 150 and also the release string has changed to M uh, to RS pre-release so what this indicates is this is a pre-release branch we're back on pre-release test builds uh, of Windows 10 rather than the manganese branch that we're on before which I think was actually probably going to be the feature set that is in 20H2 which is an update coming to the in the second half of 2020 and I've got a separate video on that uh, talking about that um, this is probably what's going to be or the many of the features here will be in 21 h1 so the first half of next year but the fast ring dev channels isn't specifically tied to a release of windows the, this this channel or this ring uh, just gets the new features and then the slow ring which will become the beta channel will get is tied then to a specific release so what's new in this release? So if you're a Linux developer or user, then actually there's a couple of interesting changes in this. If you, I've got the Linux subsystem installed in here. If I, if I go into my documents, you see here I've got the, the Linux um, icon on there because I've installed the WSL, the Linux subsystem, for, uh, the Windows subsystem for Linux. So what's changed in this build? Well, there's a couple of things. First of all, they've enabled um, GPU compute, which, which means that uh, the Linux binaries can use the GPU of your device to do more, uh, to do computing things like uh, machine learning or data science, Microsoft say, uh, directly in WSL2. So if you've got a Linux uh, set of tools that use the GPU for calculations, like machine learning, then you can use that now in Windows 10. The other thing that they've introduced in here is some new command line tools to install all this. So they've introduced a command line uh, WSL install and WSL update to get uh, started and get these installed. You can see the command line options on here. So that's make it, gonna make it a lot easier to get it installed. Here you can see it's just checking for updates on here. So that's gonna make it a lot easier than going through all the multiple steps that you had to go through before. Now I think they've done, they've changed for fast ring or dev channel. Um, is the maps now you has been switched over to TomTom Tom, uh, rather than uh, the Bing maps that they were using before or here maps it was wasn't it um, minor thing but um, that's what you're using there uh, TomTom Tom maps now and that's um, an automatic change if you're on the fast ring so the change is the choose apps by default type they did introduce this quite a while ago and uh, there was a lot of performance issues with it so they took it out and it's back in now so this is where you can uh, choose which file types are assigned to which application as you can see it's pretty slow uh, and they've still got some work to do on that uh, there's quite a few fixes there's visual studio fixes um, they fixed a broken privacy icon that was going for ages that one they fit fixed an issue with VPN networks where it not, might not persist, they fixed some network setting issues, some um, some OneDrive issues, some app tile issues, some performance on security and they've uh, fixed a few issues that would uh, result in an application or the system crashing. There are only three known issues with that, with this release. They were working on an issue that would cause some hypervisor error bugs, or uh, bug checks as in crashes. They're looking at some reports of the update process hanging. This has been in the release notes for some time. I've never seen it yet, actually. And they are uh, aware of an issue with Notepad when they failed to recognize files which were automatically saved during an upgrade. And you can find them in the recovered folder. So that's it for the, the changes in this build. The, really, the, the biggest changes are some of this Linux subsystem. Um, I'm hoping now that we're now on this new back to RS pre-release, this new builds of these new builds of Windows 10, that we're going to see some new features coming soon. That would be good. Uh, thanks for watching this video. You can find out more on our YouTube channel, and I've got all the explainer videos on there as well. You can get me on Twitter at iSticks.